So Andy, we spoke earlier a little bit about in-building testing. Now I wanted to hear from you about drive testing. I think ASCOM has introduced a new, several new features to its TIMS investigation, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, one thing that we're, um, we really want to show off here at World Congress is, uh, is a new feature with TIMS investigation called uh, Drive Tester. And uh, this has come about for a need for more speed and simplicity when it comes to drive testing. So uh, what we aim to achieve with this is, is to allow um, maybe a lesser skilled kind of person to get into the vehicle uh, with all the equipment, make sure everything is configured properly. And all they do is they just have a route and they have a green button and they just press the button and, and that's it, off they go. And uh, this system will tell them if there's any uh, things uh, they need to look out for. It can tell them where to drive gives them a kind of an overview of, of uh, when they're finished. So there's this uh, concept of um, definition of done. And uh, that defines how many samples they need to capture. So it's really about making it easier for people to get in the car, go out driving with the equipment. They don't need to you know, have training courses on Thames investigation. It simplifies the whole process. Um, and that's the, the complexity is then managed from the back office using a system called Fleet Manager. Okay, so it's all the functionality, just no need for the expensive skilled labor. Yeah, exactly. So it means that they can take you know, those skilled people from the cars and put them in the office. So that instead of uh, spending time out in the vehicle collecting the data, then they can actually spend time analyzing the data in the back office. I mean, in the car, they'll have something like this. So it's a, a system, this is running Thames Investigation. It's, so it's, it is still Thames Investigation, but there's kind of a, a skin on top, which makes it like nice and simple to use. And it's this kind of technology in the vehicle with the phones connected to it. So really just imagine it's a laptop, but without a screen. Um, and they can use a tablet in the front of the car to see when, you know, the, the, where they need to go, et cetera, et cetera. It's just giving them some basic info about how to do the drive test. And, and when uh, Tim's investigation is being used, I, I think it also has functionality now that uh, performs test and measurement uh, that is related to new services like Volti, like carrier aggregation, and like some of those things operators are rolling out to help them better compete against OTT players. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, a few years ago, you were really just thinking maybe about legacy voice testing, you know, and, uh, and, and some data testing. But now we have to make sure that we can support testing for lots of different kinds of services, you know, like WhatsApp, like Facebook, like Instagram. Uh, these kind of services are still important, actually, for, um, they're still, they're, they are important for our customers to know what, what this, what's the service like, what's the quality like. Uh, on the network using these kind of services. And uh, so the tool supports all of, all of those. And uh, we're always looking at what's coming up to make sure that the future versions, they stay up to date with uh, whatever you know, the, uh, the world is throwing at us. Well, Andy, thank you for telling us what's new with Tim's investigation. No problem, thank you.